Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another video. And today we are back at Demon's Heart Fest because, ladies and gentlemen, they have dropped my Demon Slayer favorite character, and that is Kanao Ziri right here. Yes, I sim for Kanao. I'm pretty sure everyone in the server knows that. Well, if you don't know, then, well, now you know, okay? These are the characters that you need to get her. So you will need a 5 star Rengoku, a 5 star Gyome, a 5 star Uzui, a 5 star Obanai, 5 star Muichiro, 5 star Mitsuri, 6 star Demon Hanjo, 6 star Demon. Uh, Rengoku 6 star Sanemi And a 5 star Shinobu In order to get this Kanao 7 star Right here So I've got her in my inventory She is a evolved and level 70 I heard that people said that uh, The death did her dirty uh, Anyway if she's good or bad It doesn't matter because I still same for her Alright Kanao the best Anyways, um, let's jump right into a story mode and let's check her out. Shout out to Krabby Frog for borrowing me his uh, Kanao 7 star right here and let's place her down right here and let's check out her model. Nice idle animation. Not gonna lie, you got that flower effects from her sword. Her swinging animation is not bad, I actually quite like it. Okay, I'm not being biased but like, uh, it's actually not that bad. It's a pretty unique uh, animation. Okay, haven't used that word in a while so um, you know. And her skill is got- I, I don't know how I feel about her skill, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then her model is, you know, got that pink. Uh, aura ish and then got that flower effect and that's about it for her uh animation her avatar i guess a model whatsoever so let's check out her basic attack damage so place down is 18k and 88 range 8 <laughs> cool up 1.8 damn so many eights for for like the place down okay and then her skill is falling flowers aoe damage starts from 9520 range 12 cool down 16 damn that's kind of high i'm not gonna lie and then the effect is uh kind of mid i'm not gonna lie man come on dude they could have done better I expected it to be a lot more better But um, you know anyways We'll get her upgraded to the second upgrade Which will cost us 5k So her damage will go to 31,134 Range 10 cooldown 1.64 base attack And then her skill goes to 13,328 Range 12 again For some reason And then cooldown 14 for her skill 1, 2, 3, 4 Yeah her skill hits 4 times So okay fair enough <laughs> Alright so we'll upgrade her again with 8k That brings her to 35,704 range 12 put on 1.4 for her basic attack damage and then her skill goes to 17,136 range 16 put on 12 so uh, her last upgrade will cost us 13k that will bring her to 31,406 range 12 put on 1.2 for her basic attack and then her skill falling flowers goes to 34,752 range 20 put down 10 and then obviously at max upgrade her amount of characters of her skill uh, basically increased by uh, I'd say like by like three more <laughs> i think i don't know i did not count but um let's go in depth a bit of what her things actually are so her basic attack damage is 31,000. not the highest but i think it's pretty decent go down 1.2 best match with that uh 31,000. i think her basic attack is not bad but the range is lacking a bit with 12. it did not uh go up on the last upgrade which is kind of weird they should have made her like come on at least 16 man like at least 16 like dude <laughs> okay so her skill at max is uh 24,000. 752 so she hits four times so we'll take 24,752 we'll take that and times four she does 99,008 damage um honestly we're just running off to 99,000 so 99,000 per 10 seconds in my opinion that is uh pretty good it's at least better than i guess most of the current characters right now which is a pretty pretty good sign if you ask me okay so her base attack is amazing her skill is a little bit of a lacking side but i still think that damage is king and then we'll put priority to last just in case so that we can really see if she does anything to the boss and it seems like she stuns hey yo she stuns there's a new competitor in the game with doma right now so we'll see that again just to make sure and she does in fact stun ladies and gentlemen so that is a perk and then we'll see how long she stands because I did not even count just now, alright? So she stands for like uh five, six, seven. Damn! That's a long stun. So like each time she hits her skill is like four seconds, and then there's a additional like three seconds after like that whole thing. So it's like a seven second stun, which actually beats Doma in the stunning game, making her the best support you need right now ladies and gentlemen so my conclusion for kanao is do i recommend you guys get her uh obviously absolutely because that stun is really amazing i don't know why people said like they did her dirty probably because 
to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, do I recommend you guys get Kano? Yes, hell yeah, get her. Okay, it's better than Doma right now. Uh, Doma does freeze. This girl does stuns, and her stun is longer than that freeze. So obviously, we all know that this girl is the way to go if you want damage and stun together. All right. So this will conclude today's video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, turn on that post notifications. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.